Oh my gosh, I'm so excited for this, dude. Let's get into 1.19. Hey guys, what is up? The Neocubist here. Welcome to episode 31 of my Minecraft 1.19 Hardcore Let's Play. You guys remember last weekend, we got the seven amazing volcanoes complete. I think it's seven. I honestly keep second guessing it, but I, I'm pretty sure it's seven, right? Because there's like, yeah, I think it's seven. <laughs> I don't know anymore. But we're going to be doing some amazing stuff this weekend. I want to start off by hopefully finding uh, a mangrove swamp. And then from there, we're going to move on to making a little bit of a base there. Hopefully, we're going to fight a warden and win and then loot the ancient city. And we're going to explore all that 1.19 has to offer. And that is how this weekend is going to go. So I have to prepare some long range shulker boxes. And by that, I mean, get a bunch of stuff ready. I know I'm probably going to want my bow um, and I know I'm going to want a bunch of wool. I'm basically just I don't need a shulker box full of TNT. I don't think that's going to be too necessary. We're going to take some empty shulker boxes. We're going to try to fill it up with as much stuff as I feel like I'm going to need just to be prepared. So let me clean up my inventory and uh, get ready for some exploration. Okay, guys, I think I'll have everything I can feasibly need in my inventory and then in these shulker boxes. I don't think I'm going to need anything else. And if I do, then I can always come back. I have my elytra. I have my boom box. I have shears. I'm ready to get wool. Oh, I'm so excited. So I don't know how we're going to find a mangrove swamp, really. It's just going to be kind of up to uh, up to the game. But we are in 1.19, as you can see in the top left corner. We are in vanilla. Optifine is not out, so I can't zoom in. And also, I get lower FPS, so I really miss Optifine. Please be done soon. And, uh, yeah, we're going to go try to find ourselves a mangrove swamp. See you guys whenever I get one. I, I don't know when it'll be. <laughs> we'll just keep flying until we see something cool. So while I'm flying around, I'm also looking for a sheep because I need wool very badly. I don't know how much wool I need to get. Um, I probably am going to get a couple stacks if I can, hopefully. So I'm going to be on the lookout for some wool, too. So we'll land soon and find some wool, I hope. But these are all new chunks, so that's why I kind of came back. Ooh, a warm ocean. I did not know this was over here. That's really nice. Yep, these are all the 1.19 chunks, so hopefully soon. Hey, there's like the fifth ocean monument, <laughs> so that's awesome. Don't want to get the effects from that, but that's literally like the fifth one I found in this world. Okay, so jungle edge. I think that's what this is called, right? No, sparse jungle. This is the first kind of thing that I have hit. And, uh, ooh, I see a sheep. I keep trying to zoom in on stuff, and I can't zoom in. Is that a mangrove over there? No, it's not. I can't wait to build with the mangrove blocks. I, I really, I, I've tried to like stay away from it as much as I can, uh, which you know, some people may be like, well, you're a Minecraft YouTuber, you should learn all this stuff. Well, the thing is, is that I wanna, I wanna be excited for it. I don't wanna like know everything about it. I do kind of know how the warden works, like, like, like a little bit, but for the most part, I really have no idea what's going on, which makes this all the more fun for you too, because you kind of like, you get to experience it with me if you haven't watched anything on it, which probably you have, but who knows. Okay, well, the only thing I've found on this jungle so far is, like, first of all, or on this journey so far is this jungle that looks crazy, and then I found this. So maybe there's something great in here. Actually, like, probably the best thing that... Oh, and I'm mending. Okay. That's probably, like, the best thing that can be in here. I know there's a gold up here, so I might as well grab that, too. I'm trying to get as much loot as I can on this journey. I want to go look at that so bad. That looks awesome, dude. Wow. Now, that is a jungle if I've ever seen one. Holy heck, man. That's really cool. Can I fly through the trees? Sweet. So I have been finding quite a few sheep, which is really good. Um, it kind of gives me something to work along on the journey aside from just finding that biome. Now, of course, the ancient city, that can be anywhere underground, except for the chunks I've already loaded, which none of these have been loaded. So I can look for that, but I really want to get set up in like the mangrove base. feel like I have a little base of operations. Obviously, you know, if I die in this world, it's hardcore, so I just lose it. Oh, that's very nice to know that that's over there. That's very nice for terracotta and stuff. I could have used that for my volcano. I still can. And uh, I, I'm i pretty sure that we're going to do live streams n n after like the 10th of July is when they're probably going to start. The reason they're taking so long is I keep going out of town, which is good. I didn't travel a lot in 2020 or 2021, so it's been real nice. Oh, an exposed dripstone cave. That would have been nice. What in the world? What in the world is this? So yeah, we're going to do a lot of live streams kind of texturing the volcano island and stuff like that. So if you don't want to miss those, join my Discord. Link is in the description. And the reason I tell you to join the Discord is that otherwise YouTube's probably not going to tell you about the live streams. I do upload all the live streams after the fact, so you can always watch them whenever you want. 
I feel like this stuff is so good for breeding cows and like I don't want to start another wheat farm So I'm gonna steal all their stuff. Do I, I don't have any like I don't have a diamond hoe, right? Like I, I feel like I should have brought one, but I didn't bring one did I? No, I didn't that's okay. I'll just mine it all by hand won't take too long. Oh Dude, I forgot in normal minecraft. I was, I was gonna make a stone hoe. I forgot in minecraft that like, you know the default version There's no uh, there's no dynamic lights, so I can't hold my torch in my hand like I have for Oh, it feels like years to light at my path. That's why I always wait for the version to come out, but I couldn't wait for this. Oh, man. That's going to be sorely missed, but it's okay. They said they're like 30% of the way done, so that's that's pretty close. Oh, man. I could have killed that and gotten an iron one. Ah, whatever. Do it. It's all good. This is, oh, yeah, like three times as fast. Okay, so let me get all the hay. Okay, well, day one of our adventure sets. I got all the hay bales that I could, so a pretty good amount. A few things in my inventory I probably don't want. Um, but we have a good bit of wool. We have a good bit of hay, which I'll use later on, but uh, we really got to sleep It's been a long long day of adventuring And now we get to do it all over again. Yay! So hopefully we can find this mangrove swamp I don't know how hard it's gonna be to find but I have a feeling that it's not gonna be easy So we gotta we gotta push ourselves today. We gotta make it happen Might as well you never know there, there can be diamonds there can be notch apples good stuff like that So I feel like might as well Okay, I thought I just totally hit that. I was like, oh no. Hey, there is not a notch apple, but still a decent apple. Still a decent apple. Um, I'll take the diamond. I'll take the iron because I don't have any with me. I'll take the emeralds too. Always will take emeralds. Now, can I fly my way out of here? What? I don't know what happened. Which way was I flying? Oh yeah, I was flying this way. There is badlands over there, which is good. Um, I'm gonna probably take a little pit stop here and throw some things into the shulker box because as I expected my inventory is already getting kind of full Which is good. I mean, it's not a bad thing at all uh, But like I don't need that <laughs> some of this stuff. I just don't need I need to be finding sheep and I don't need that either. I need to be finding sheep though I need to get out of this desert ASAP man ASAP Of course, right? Uh, 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 uh. <laughs> I came back to say, of course, I threw away my hoe right before I find the oh, the mangrove swamp. I don't care about the hay anymore. We found mangrove, and it was right in the direction we were flying, too. Nice. Actually, did not take very long at all. I'm actually really happy. Um, it is kind of strange that it's bordering a desert. Um, that's a, a little, a little, frankly, a little bit odd. Um, I want to know, what is this stuff? Is this the mud, right? Is, it, is that what this is? Is this mud? Are you mud? Okay. It makes a terrible noise. Ugh, <laughs> it's like a squelching. Oh, and you kind of dip down into it? I gotta admit, it's a satisfying noise nonetheless. Okay, so we have some mud. Uh, <laughs> I can't believe that, dude. Literally the second I press F12, I look back up because I have to kind of look on my keyboard where F12 is. I should probably go into the swamp. <gasps> what are you? What was that? <laughs> what was that thing? It was just chilling there. I, I just kind of killed it, I guess. Oh, where's a frog? I must find frog. Okay, take that off. We don't need that. Where is frog? Frog, hello. Hello, greetings. No, don't run from me. I'm a good, good man. Well, they have a nice swimming animation. Okay. Hello, um, can I can I give you something? Do you do you want some mud? You want some mud? Oh my gosh, the walking animation is cool. I like this a whole lot. The noises. Well, it sounds like I'm actually walking on mo. Oh hey, step on back, creeper. You know <laughs> what is this? Oh, I actually got it that time. A mangrove propagule. Is that how you spread the mangrove? I don't know, but we'll we'll keep it in our inventory. Okay, so is this turned like into planks? No. Oh, because th this is th these are the roots. That's right. And then the actual tree is like this stuff. Well, we definitely have to get some of this wood if we're gonna be making a little. Oh, that color though, dude. That color is incredible. I need the propagule. Give me. Give me. I hope I'm not saying that wrong. Okay, so how big was this? Oh. How big was this mangrove swamp? And I have to remember my elytra is almost dead. Okay, so it's a decent size. Oh, wow. Yeah. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's, <laughs> it's a pretty good size. It's a pretty good size. Okay, back to the middle so I can fall into it. This is like the first, like, I almost said dimension. This is like the first biome I can remember where when I go into it, it actually feels like I'm in a biome because I can't see anything else but, like, the stuff around me. Like, there's something special about that, is there not? Like, you know what I mean? When you're in a plains biome, you can see other biomes around you. When you're in any other biome, pretty much, you can see everything around you. I mean, sometimes. I feel like encapsulated in the swamp. Now, I don't know what kind of house I'm going to make, which is kind of exciting. I've never really had this before. I mean, it feels like it's been forever since there's been new biomes. I know, like, the uh, underground biomes, right? But above ground biomes, like, not, there hasn't really been a new one in a long time that I can remember. Okay, give me the, give me the thing. I really don't know what it is. It looks like a glow stick, if I'm honest with you. It really does. I'll have to look up those, look those up and see what they do. But I'm going to gather a bunch of mangrove wood, and we're going to get to building a base. Now, I hope I can find an ancient city under this mangrove swamp. Obviously, there's no guarantees on that. It's just going to be completely random, but... If we can, that would be dope. And this is, oh, I can mine this stuff quick. Dude, these roots are sick. Oh my gosh, these trees. I'm loving this, dude. This is like, this might be my new favorite biome. Maybe it's because it's new and shiny and stuff like that, but. So how do these blocks work? Okay, you can step on them. You can't walk into them. Huh, that's really cool. I like them because they're speedy to break and everything. Now, the mangrove wood is a little tricky to get. I'll admit, it is a little bit tricky to get just because it's so high up off the ground. But, like, that's not necessarily a bad thing. Oh, hello, frogs. How you guys doing today? Oh, do you want one of these? No? Do you, do you want one? Oh, my gosh, you're so cute. Do you give anything? I hate to do this. Do you? Do you? Anything? Okay, nope. Okay, there's no point in killing them. They don't give you anything. Don't do it. Don't be don't be a terrible person like me. Okay, so I'm gonna collect a bunch of mangrove wood and roots, and then we're gonna get to work on some sort of base. I don't I kinda want it to be like a camouflaged base. You know what I mean? I'm gonna get some of these mangrove leaves as well. Alright, well I'm gonna have some fun with this. Give me a little bit and I'll come back with some materials and we'll get to work on something. I don't know what, but something for sure. Okay, I had to come back because the tree structure here is insane. Like, the tree goes, like, like up, right? And then it, like, starts going diagonal, but, like, it's, like, all the way up into here. You know what I mean? Like, it's, like, like, what? <laughs> what? What is, what is this tree? Like, what? Does it, so this, this goes down into, into the roots, okay? But then, like, up here, it's, like, all... Oh, there, there's a shear. Okay. Probably shouldn't use any more of that. Oh, yeah, we got iron, though. We're okay. We're okay. We got iron. Um, I just, I'm trying to understand how the root structure works and everything. I, I don't know what's going on. I feel, I feel like I'm in modded Minecraft, if I'm completely honest with you. My brain still hasn't accepted this is in Minecraft. This is so cool. Okay, well, I definitely have enough materials. Mangrove roots, leaves, logs. Uh, those aren't the right kind of logs. Uh, yeah, that's enough logs. And now we just got to figure out a place to set up our base of operations. Our warden base, whatever you want to call it. I'm just so happy we found this biome, dude. This is so cool. Plus, we get to have fun experimenting with the new build style while we're in here. Um, I don't know if I want to put it up on stilts. I kind of like the areas that are in the water, so I was hoping to find one of those to build in. Which, they look like they're all over. Oh, there's a beehive in here. This is a nice little opening. This is a nice little op opening. But I, I want to be more like in this. Yeah. Deep, deep in it. <laughs> oh my gosh. I like this area because we can see up to the sky, but I like this area too. You know what? We're going to call this home. We're going to plop a bed down and then tomorrow morning, we're going to, tomorrow morning, we're, come on Minecraft. Okay. I can sleep now. Tomorrow morning, we're going to build the house. Okay. So I literally have no idea what I'm going to do. I just know that my inventory is stressing me out a little bit. So let's, uh. <laughs> Let's move a few things in here I'm not going to immediately need. Yeah, sure. Oh, why is that one... Why is that one sideways? What did I even place it on? Oh, whatever. Um, okay. So, I <laughs> I have no idea what to do here. I guess I could build, like, some sort of, like... 
I could build like some sort of like a base out of these blocks to like like a foundation right to build a house on or I could go with like a stilted kind of base because you know we're in the swamp uh, I probably want to go for like a stilted base so I'm gonna go ahead and remove these which luckily they're super easy to remove oh they can they're instantly waterlogged okay that's sweet I bet there's a lot of cool stuff people are going to figure out that you can do with these things. I just don't know what they are yet. Um, okay, so we could do some stilts. Let's see how the planks look. Let's make a crafting table first. Okay, how do thine planks look? Oh, they look good. Look like red velvet cake. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, dude. Sweet. Okay, so maybe I could do some stilts like that. Did I happen to have any cobblestone? No, I did not. But that's okay. I can go uh, over here and we can just kind of go down, right? Can I block you off for a moment? I can go down. How far does the mud go? What is that stuff? Muddy mangrove roots. Okay. I was going to say, I just wanted a few beats of cobblestone to make some like uh, walls out of. So let me gather that up. All right. I think I've gotten every building material I could possibly need down in here. I threw away some mangrove planks, but it's okay. Um, so we have two stacks of granite, two stacks of andesite, two stacks of cobble. I don't know exactly what we're going to do with those quite yet. Um, but I, well, I do know what I'm going to do with some of the cobble. I'm going to make some walls. So for the main event here, I definitely want to use, I can take dark oak wood to make these sticks. Should not waste the mangrove, the precious mangrove wood. We don't really have very much. It feels like we're starting over. We're not starting over, but we're at least going to kind of make our way in the mangrove there we go 48 is probably more than enough go ahead and uh, put our excess sticks up okay so we don't need like a super big base I'm just thinking like you know a decent sized base um, I think like they should go up by like maybe one block right so we'll, we'll go in this line here and we'll go up like one block and then we'll come over to here and uh, we'll go up like one block I know th <laughs> those those are maybe a little bit of the way and I'm kind of going for somewhat of a square, maybe kind of a rectangle shape, something like that. Okay, then probably a support in the middle. I don't know if this is even, there's three blocks here, there's like, that's not, <laughs> that's not the middle. Okay, there's four blocks there, and there's four blocks there, okay, that's perfect. So, in this line right here, we need to add one more support, just like that. And did they change the way you move in water? I, I don't think they did. I don't think that was on the change log. Um... So maybe a somewhat of a stilted house like this. Dude, these things look so good. I haven't had a new wood type to work with in a while. The nether wood, I, I don't I don't consider that a new wood type. I didn't... It was okay. I <laughs> wasn't the biggest fan of it. It's like purple and light blue. It's just... It was kind of ugly looking. It's kind of the ugly duck. Not that I just used it in my volcano. I didn't do that. That was... I did... I did... I didn't... <laughs> it it looked... It can look good, okay? It can look good. All right. Now, I may need to, like, move a few things or kind of push some trees out of the way or something. Uh, but now we got to build our actual, like, house part. Now, I don't know how this is going to work. I have an elytra, but that doesn't really make this any easier. Um, yeah, we can use mud. Oh, the noise, man. The noise. Oh, I couldn't make the MLG place. I got to do it, dude. Do it. I got to do it for the fans. Yes. Okay. I do I do like the breaking noise for the mud. It's kind of satisfying. Okay, can I make this one? No. That was all. That was all messed up. Okay, so let me finish putting these logs down. Okay, now in between the logs, I'm going to connect them with more logs. And this is going to be kind of like the the base of the house if that makes sense. Like the, I think I'll have to add more supports like in the middle. Probably will. I think it'd be kind of weird if I didn't. And these are not even either. That's okay. Honestly, I, I didn't expect it to be even. It doesn't really need to be even. Um, wait. Why am I doing one there? Ah, whatever. It's okay. We'll have one support in the middle. I'm gonna have to go get more mangrove logs. <laughs> I might have made this thing a little bit bigger than I was intending, but that's okay. I'm having fun with it. I got, I'm getting carried away, which is not something that happens too much anymore, which is a good thing. I'm just so excited to see the ancient cities. I did prepare. We don't have enough. Oh my gosh, I'm sinking. I do not have enough wool, but I'm getting there. Okay, I'm getting close. I don't know how much wool I'll think is okay, but we're going to need a pretty good bit. 
Now I'm gonna make this into slabs, not because it gives me more to work with, but because I feel like this will kind of lend to the whole, like this is the platform that we build the house on type of deal. Something like that. So let me fill these in real quick. Okay, so I have this done. Now we need to make an entrance. Uh, <laughs> I don't really know where the entrance is gonna be. Probably somewhere over here, maybe on this side. No, I think we're gonna make it on this side. And uh, it'll just be like some stairs or something up to it. Doesn't need to be anything too, too fancy. Um, okay, so we'll start the stairs like right here. I'm gonna try to randomize them somewhat. Just like, you know, randomize the material they are. Which I actually could do pretty easy if I were to put some stuff up. Because I have so much stuff. So I put some stuff up and then I do this. Watch. I can do the ultimate randomization. Okay, so we'll do every other one will be a different material. Like this. Uh, like this. Yeah. Now unlock my scroll wheel. Ha! <laughs> True random. Uh, will it actually be? Yeah. Like it, it's pretty close to it. I'm basically just like spamming the scroll wheel because I have a Logitech mouse. You guys know the drill. This makes it very nice to build like staircases and stuff. It makes it nice to build literally anything where you want to randomize it. Okay, and now we can switch to andesite. I don't know where the rest of my... Where the rest of, did I put the andesite up? Oh, I did put the andesite up. Silly me. I'm dragging the stairs around. And then we can do the same sort of thing, building a few of these platforms. It really doesn't matter at this point. Um, okay. Just to have a little, like, walkway up here. Okay. I gotta stop it. Uh, there we go. Then we could kind of just, like, have a nice little, like... I, I, I don't know what this would be. A, 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 a place to stand? For maybe? Something like that? And then we can kind of put some stuff right there. And then we can have a nice little, like, landing. Okay. And that way we can actually walk around. Because we are in kind of a... A little bit of a wet area. To say the least. Okay. Cool. Now, obviously, I'm not going to leave it like this. Got to break a few things. I want to put some more fence down since I have the fence with me. Okay, like this. Okay. And then you come up here, and then this is like the platform where I'm going to build the house. Now, obviously, there's a little bit of a problem right there. Uh, but, yeah, whatever. I don't know what I'm going to build the house out of. I kind of want to, like, build it into, like, a tree. Not, not into a tree, but, like, a tree-ish house or something like that. I don't know. What I'm going to do now, though, is go get some more mangrove wood because we don't have enough at all. Oh, I left my bed on the ground. That's not good. Mangrove wood time. Now I get to play the fun game of can I find my base because the mangrove all looks the same. Uh, oh, don't want to go into the propagule. So I have, like, you know, enough logs. What is it called? Mangrove. I thought I said mahogany for a second. I was like, no way, dude. They need to add mahogany wood next. It could be a mix between dark oak and spruce. Okay, so there's my base. So yeah, I don't really know how this base is going to look. I, it, it, so if it looks bad, please don't make fun of me. Um, I'm going to kind of use this as a grid. I'm leaving the outside so that I can hopefully have like a fence around it, which I'll have to use some more wood for, um, of course. And then I'm going to put these like this, just so that I can cap them with slabs, I think. Probably. I think that'll look good. And then we'll have a nice fence in between them. This will be like the posts of the house in the corners. We got to remove that. Now I don't have enough fence. Oh, the mangrove propagule is in the way. I really want to know what that is. I feel like it's what maybe spreads the mangrove trees, potentially. But I don't know for certain, and I don't want to say, because I know a lot of people are probably new to the to the mangroves as well. Okay, we got to make a little bit more of that. Just a little bit more. Give me, give me, give me. I put, I put my sticks in here, didn't I? Yes, I did. Okay, so I'm going to come back once I got a little bit of a better idea of what I'm doing. Let's finish what we were doing, though, up here with the fence. That way everything makes a little bit more sense. <laughs> I'm so funny. Uh, probably put this here, too. There we go. Okay, so now we have, like, a proper entryway thingy. I really don't know. Uh, and then this is going to be... Kind of like the corners of the base. How many blocks? Out? Okay, so I'm like one block oh, one block away from the fence. So we are going to have to remove some of this, but it's really not going to be that difficult because we have shears. And I don't want to remove too much of it, right? Only what I need to remove. So we'll kind of make it rounded a little bit. I might leave I might leave that log right there. No, it's too close. Okay, something like that. That way it looks like the tree is still there. Just a, just a little bit uh, shaved for... Uh, Shaved for the house. Okay. 
go over here, do something like this. Okay, so like I said, I'll come back and have a little bit of a better idea, because this is not an idea. <laughs> I don't know what this is. It's something, though. It's something. We're, we're getting somewhere. That's all that matters. Okay. And then to fit with the palette in here, I do have a good idea of what I'm doing now, guys. I'm on a roll. Uh, we're going to use probably granite. I don't want to get rid of that. Uh, we'll use some granite on the bottom here. But I'm going to use stairs. That way they have more depth. Which means we are going to lose a lot of the granite. Hmm. That's okay. Put some more stuff in there. I know my inventory is an absolute shambles right now. But it's okay. It's okay. Uh, oh, we can, of course, make the mangrove door. I have not seen that. Nor have I seen the mangrove trap doors. Which will probably want a few of those. How do they look? Ooh, I like it, and I really like that too. Cool. They did good on both of those. Not that I'm like the, you know, the master of defining who does good with what, but I really like those. I think the, I think they're very nice. I think they're very nice. Um, okay. So the door should be like right here, but it should be facing the other way. So the reason I'm choosing granite is it's kind of like it's in that spectrum of colors in a way, right? Like it's kind of... You know, in the color range, I think it'll look pretty cool. And then we'll have, just have a door right there. But that's how I was going to do these walls. That way it feels a little bit more open when you're walking around out here. You know, if you're if you're trying to look around at the beautiful mangrove, you want to watch a nice mangrove <laughs> sunset and stare at the trees. Or, you know, you want to look at the propagules or whatever. I could see this being a nice beach house. A beach house. What am I talking about, man? What am I talking about, man? These are all going to be recorded in the same session that the last three episodes are recorded in so it'll be like an over 12 hour recording session which is gonna be cool i'm not saying that to be like oh whoa, you know whoa me or woe is me what is the saying there i think lightning's about to shut my computer off hold on okay so i put my bed up here <laughs> my computer's okay lightning did not shut it down but there is some storms going on you know i gotta be gotta be weather conscious if i wasn't doing youtube for a job i would have studied meteorology in college probably for some reason, I study business. I always said when I was a kid, I wanted to run my own business. I don't know what that means. <laughs> like, when I think about it now, I'm like, what, what What does that mean? Or run a business doing what exactly? And uh, I never could answer that question. So, you know, if YouTube ever kind of stops being my job, then I think I'm going to be a weatherman. Because I got the voice right. I could talk for hours and hours and hours and hours. I don't mind that. Like, there's a storm front approaching. <laughs> <laughs> you guys imagine seeing me like if any of you watch me in Oklahoma can you just imagine like seeing me in the future and, and seeing me you know as a weatherman like can you can you really imagine that probably not I just wait I just made way too many trap doors <laughs> oh gosh I just liked the circular shape okay I thought they looked cool man I didn't mean to make that many I didn't think they were that cool so I was gonna put these here it's kind of like the wall up top you know instead of windows to keep it nice and open because it's probably really humid if you're in the swamp. So it's probably a good idea to, you know, have a nice ventilation in your house. There's no AC in here, man. We're running on no electricity, dude. So we, <laughs> you know, oh, man. On that front, you're kind of screwed, right? There's no electricity in the mangroves. No solar power just quite yet. I guess I could have jumped right here the whole time. Why didn't I? I don't know. I can't jump right there, though. I have to break it. I think there's a way I could do it, but I'm, I'm lazy. I want to do it like this. Okay. And now I I used all my blocks. <laughs> okay. Uh, we'll probably top it off with like this, I think. I don't know how to do a roof in here. That's the thing. Is like I, That's the one part of a build that I'm just never I'm just never too good at is the roofs. It's always been like my, uh, my downfall. So how do we cap off this build? Your guess is as good as mine because I have no idea. Maybe some mangrove leaves, but that would look kind of like weird, right? How does this base look from like... Yeah, that looks pretty sweet. Uh, we just got to figure out a roof. That's like the number one thing. What do we do about a roof? Something like that for a little bit of for a little bit of support and kind of connect it right there. Okay, nice. I like the texturing. I do like I do like the base, but I just don't know what to do for the roof, man. Hold on. Let me think of something. I think it would be a good idea. Maybe we could do a mud roof. Would that be... I don't think that would be bad. I think that'd be kind of cool. Um, I just have to get some more mangrove wood. So I'm going to get some mud, some mangrove wood, and then I'll meet you guys back at the base. We'll finish that out. And then we'll successfully have explored the mangrove swamp, conquered it. And uh, tomorrow we can go to the ancient cities. Maybe. I don't know. We, 
Maybe tomorrow we'll make a sheep farm or something to prepare. Uh, we have enough wool. Or, sorry, we have enough wheat to get enough wool. That's for sure. Because we picked up all those hay bales, which I was going to use for like a cow farm back at the mega base. But, heck, dude, I'll use it out here. I really don't care. It's not like I'm running low. Mangrove wood is interesting. I've learned that it's, it's best to collect it from the top. From the top down. Um, in my limited experience, because otherwise it's just, it's so hard to get to because it's on stilts. Like the wood is on stilts. I don't know what you would do when you're first, if you started out in a mangrove swamp, you'd be like punching trees forever trying to get it. Well, this is like a mud hill. That's well, perfect. Is this really like a mud hill? What is this? Why does it look solid mud? Okay. I'm not going to question it. But yeah, I think mud looks good. It looked like a good roof, I think. It's a nice dark material. In real life, you know, maybe you could dry the mud out and make, you know, like an adobe type material. So I could see that actually like working for a roof. I don't know if I need all those mangrove leaves though. That's one thing. I probably collected a few too many. A little overzealous there. Okay, how much mud is that? We already have three stacks of mud. Four stacks of mud. I think we're good. Uh, mangrove logs, I'm going to get a bit more and I'll come back. Okay, taking a nice little stroll through the mangrove. Overall, I'd say I'm pretty happy with the biome. You know, I mean, I can't complain. Minecraft's been out for like oh, 13 years or so. Uh, about about 13 years, more like 12. And every update has been free. So I understand like some people being like, oh man, there's not a lot. And I get they promised the fireflies and stuff and I'm kind of disappointed, but you have to remember like most games when they come out with stuff, they charge for it, <laughs> like almost every game. So the fact that after 12 years, everything's still free, I, in my opinion, I think you should be pretty thankful because that's pretty awesome. I, I don't know where my house is. <laughs> oh, gosh. Oh, now here's a real water-filled area. Oh, man. Maybe this is where I first came into here. Now, I guess I could fly. I have to keep in mind my elytra is almost dead. So I don't want to make any big goofs. Any, any big oofs or goofs. That did not help at all. <laughs> that did not help at all. Ooh, that looks interesting. Oh, there it is. There it is. Okay. Dude, we're really right next to the thing. Dude, I, that that's how like thick the mangrove swamp is. I was like, dude, I don't know where my base is. It's like right, it's right there. It's like literally right there. I could have built my base out to here. Could have had a cool dock and everything, but no, that's okay. I'm 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 happy with the area. Is this a new block over? No, that's just dirt. <laughs> is this a new block? No, Neo, that's dirt. Okay, so we have some nice stilts. I feel like my house is properly swampified. Now we get to build ourselves a roof out of mud. It's going to be quite the interesting, quite the interesting e e escapade. I don't know how, I don't know which direction to build the roof in. Probably this way, which I know that doesn't make any sense when I just say this way. Um, from like here to here. We're just going to do a standard arched roof. I'm not going to do anything too crazy. Um, something like this. And of course you got to hang it one block off the edge. And then you just go up diagonal. Pretty simple. I'll probably trim it with some of the mangrove wood and I think it'll turn out pretty good so let me build it real quick and I'll come back okay guys we're almost done with the roof here we got one more layer after this it is becoming dark fairly quickly but that's okay I think this was a good idea it, it uses most of the mangrove blocks at least that I can remember oh at least that I can remember and then I think I'm gonna do a slabbed uh, I'll explain in a second hold on okay so that's the idea is I'm gonna take some slabs I am gonna use some of this wood to make some chests because we really need chests really bad uh oh oh that's right i built that i was like what the heck is that how did that grow in here and we don't need we don't need any vines in here there's enough vines around uh why did it do oh because i was holding down shift that's why and then we could do some chests over here really doesn't matter I'm not, I'm not going for anything super fancy as long as it's functional in here i am good um but like i was saying i want to do a slabbed roof or not slabbed roof kind of a this will make more sense when I'm done. Something like that. That way it feels nice and open. Because, again, like I, I know you don't really need ventilation, but since we're in a biome like this, I feel like that kind of fits. Kind of the open theme-ish thing. I don't know. <laughs> it looks good, and that's all that matters. It looks good, I think. I mean, I'm kind of full of myself. I haven't actually looked at it. It's almost impossible, really, to look at because, you know, it's like, it's like you know, in the middle of a swamp. <laughs> So, I mean, hey, I, I think that looks pretty cool, okay? You know, you I can't, you can't hate on that, can you? I mean, honestly, can you hate on it? I think it looks, I think it looks okay. 
It looks okay. All right, let's work on getting the roof looking a little bit better, and then uh, we will call it there on the house. So let's just make some stairs. Stairs or slabs? That's the that's the great question. So do I want to use stairs like this, or do I want to use slabs? And I'm asking because I don't know. So we'll just do one way, and then we'll look, and we'll kind of see. Okay, so that would be if we use stairs. Oh yeah, that looks pretty good. It's almost like there's too much red up there though, so I think maybe slabs are better. So I'll, let me try slabs real quick. Super easy to do now that I actually built up here. Okay, let's see that. If I can ever get the right tool out. Yeah, I like that better. I don't know. It could be it, it could be whatever you want, but me personally, I like that a little bit better. All right, now let me do that on the other side. And there we go. Now we have it done on both sides. All right, well, I'm happy with this base. I hope you guys are too. I can go ahead and move these shulker boxes up. I keep forgetting I could just pick them up. I keep thinking like, oh man, I gotta move all these chests. No, dude, they're shulker boxes. The greatest thing in the world. So I definitely wanna take some of these things back with me whenever I go back to the main base. Um, so I'm gonna make that a point because I don't want to forget anything. I don't want to like leave all this mangrove. Oh, there it is, there it is. Well, if, I <laughs> if I can speak, I just sounded. Like I don't even know, man. It's so. It's like, oh my gosh, it's 2:50 a.m. Oh, the warden's gonna really be scary next episode. Okay, guys. Well, I'm gonna call it here for today's episode. We did a lot. We, well, I mean, we explored and we built a base. I think that's pretty good for an episode. I'm happy with the base. I wish I could like look at it, but like. I mean, to be honest with you, I don't even know how I'm going to take the thumbnail. Because, like, you can't really see anything. It looks good, though. Yeah, it looks good. Anyways, thank you guys for watching today's episode. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, tomorrow, we're going to work on hopefully getting more wool because we don't really have enough. That's, like, object number one for sure. We got to get wool, guys. We can't keep putting off the wool. So, I can make a couple more shears, it looks like. I probably only need this many. And, uh, yeah, I'm excited to see what happens tomorrow. I don't, I don't want to lose my world, so I'm going to try my absolute best to not make that happen. Maybe I'll decide to record more another day. Uh, but, yeah, thank you guys for watching, and I will see you tomorrow. Bye!